There is a mistaken, in my mind, mistaken perception that once you've made a decision towards saying yes to whatever the mystery has for your life, that somehow everything works out. And it doesn't. It just doesn't. It doesn't turn out the way you wanted it. Often what you do falls flat on its face and so on. And it's sort of like the mystery gives you an opportunity just to participate in authenticity. That all, that's all the mystery does, is enables you to participate in authenticity. And the consequences, you have no idea. I've become a lover of poetry and poets. Because as you get older, you begin to realize the poet speaks from the heart, the good poet. And therefore, that's where you, you get pierced by good poetry. <clears throat> and um, so I've searched and continue to encounter great poetry. I'm a great lover of Rumi because he talks about what it means to, uh, I guess to use his language, to dance with the divine, to dance with the mystery, to be drunk. He uses the term drunk a lot, which is the way I would talk about it. You're really alive. You know, you're really, really, really alive. So much for that you feel ecstatic in that. I've, I tried to write poetry. It never turned out worth anything. But I did write one line of poetry, which maybe somebody else has written, so I can't take credit for it. But I said this, <clears throat> you never know what shore the ripples reach when the stone is tossed with love. You never know. Um, and that's all you can do, isn't it? You can only act with love not emotion, not the emotional love, with, here's where I place my best intention, most detached intention. And then let the ripples flow, and you never know what shore they will reach.